YouTube, uh, Talon B. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, today is Thursday. I think it's October 25th. I didn't check and now I'm using my phone and the time's on a different spot. So if I look in a different spot than usual, my clock's over there now, not over there. Um, how are you guys? I had some stuff piling up in a semi good hair day. So I thought it was good enough. Let's do this. Um, it's been pretty busy around here, not, not too bad. Uh, we had some snow yesterday. We only had a few flurries here. I know other parts of the state, it did kind of build up. Um, we're right on the coast, so it's a smidge warmer here, so it doesn't always stick, this early stuff. And then even when we get into the real stuff, sometimes it's just warm enough that it turns to rain here. Um, so we only had a little bit, just enough to say we had our first snowfall in October. Um, the leaves have pretty much turned. They're fading. You know, they're not as bright and vibrant as they were. And then we've had a few good winds. We're supposed to get a pretty big storm, I guess, Saturday. Um, so that will probably blow off most of what's left and get everything drenched. So then it will be hard to clean it up. Um, so we're getting there. I did last time I was going up to uh, my parents' house. Um, it's still really pretty, you know, even though it's not as vibrant and it's more of the dull oranges and the dull yellows and almost the browns. I just love the colors of fall. So it was really pretty to drive up on the highway and be able to see everything. Um, so like I said, I've been, I've been stitching quite a bit, mostly on one piece, which I'll show you. And I've done a ton of finishing after my last video. I think that was on a Thursday. I think I'd gone shopping the next day and I found a bunch of stuff to use for finishing. So I finally got some pieces that I had kind of sitting around. Um, I got them done. So I'm excited to show you guys those. I've posted them on Instagram, so you may have already seen them, but I'll show you them in person. Um, I've been watching a lot of the videos. I watched Michelle last night, Pam and Steph. I haven't watched yet because they just posted today with everyone talking about the retreat in Minnesota. And it was so fun to hear. Everyone sounds like they had the best time. Um, I loved watching all the Instagram videos and pictures and things as they came in. So a little jealous, but it sounds like everyone had fun. Um, we had our little meetup with my little group here uh, two weeks ago. Um, we've got another one planned, so we're excited for that. Uh, and the next time Lynette, Homesteading on the Homefront, has a chance to make a video. She has some news. I'll tease it with that. She has some news. Um, all right, let's get started. So the first couple things that I finished are no longer in the house. So I took some pictures to show you guys. Uh, my sister knew that I was having my finishing day and we both had something we wanted to get to my parents before they left. They go to Florida for the winter. So we met up with my mom for lunch and she snuck me her things and said, do you mind sewing these up? Cause she doesn't have a machine. So she had done two of the little house farmhouse Christmas um, ornaments. So I sewed those into pillows for her. The fabric that she used is fabric flare. I think she got it from Stitchery Express, which is Cindy Sorley. Um, it's printed with those little snowflakes. It's a blue printed with a snowflake. Hers is an Ada. It also, I believe, comes in a linen. Um, so you can still get that. And it looks great. Her colors really showed up well on that. So I got those done for her. And my sister is um, kids underscore cats underscore stitches on Instagram and floss tube. She hasn't had a chance to make a video in a while, but so I got those done. And then also in that picture, you noticed I had this one, this little stitch I found at Goodwill last year at some point, and it was um, finished, just all stitched, just on the linen, um, and it was a buck. So I said, well, I'm gonna grab that and see what I can do with it. So I gave it a little love. It's got a big fold mark in it that I couldn't get out because it probably had been there for a long time. Um, so I just put some leaves and then made a cording. Um, I really like, I had bought a while ago a package of the DMC 
they're the variegateds, but like the low numbers, like the 115 is the red, um, like 96, I don't know, there are these really low numbers and they're, I don't like to stitch with them as well because I think it takes too long for the colors to change when I'm stitching, but they make awesome cording because there's variegation in the cording. Um, so I used a brown and a green. Like I said, it was a buck and I think it looks awesome. Um, I'm always glad when it, you find something that you know someone worked hard on and now I'm, it's still getting loved. It didn't just get dumped at the Goodwill. It made its way to someone who could give it a little love. So that was that one. The other that I did that is no longer in my house is uh, I did Lizzie Kate's Joy Sampler um, two times, one from Donna and one from my mom. And I found these um, sled picture frames, and I'll put the picture in. These are four by six picture frames. The piece was just over four by six, and I didn't really want it in it anyway, so I just mounted it on some sticky board. I actually put a little batting in that one and put it right over where the picture goes, and it fit perfect. It already had the ribbon and the little, the zhuzh at the top, so I didn't have to put that on. Um, so I gave them those when I saw them last weekend. I still need to find one more sled, I got those at Kohl's, by the way. Um, my Kohl's had a third, but it was crooked. So I haven't stitched one for myself yet anyway, so I thought I'll just get one of those down the line. I believe they had very similar, if not the same sleds last year. So it's something they carry, so you shouldn't have a hard time finding it. All right, the next two are the exciting two. Um, so, which one first? I stitched beginning of the year um, Prairie Schooler Evergreen and I've been holding on to it because it was just an odd enough size that it, it was like six and a half by nine you know it wouldn't fit evenly in a frame um, and I knew I could find something if I just held out I could find something you know it was like March I have time well now I'm like okay it's October <laughs> I'm running out of time so I was up in Michaels that day that I found a bunch of stuff and I found an enamel tray. And I'll show it to you after I'll pop the piece out. So this is what I ended up doing. Back it up a little. It fits in there perfect. I saw it was 70% off. They had one. If they had more than one, I'd have picked it up. Um, so it's a serving tray. It was from their fall line, their general store line. Um, this is just a pick. It had the bells on it. It had um, the greenery on it. I put a little red in there because I thought it needed it. And then the ribbon was just burlap. And I had some other ribbon that red with the burlap in the middle. So I just layered it up in there. So this is just on there with a magnet. Which way's up? So again, it just says general store. Um, I very ghettoed this on here. I, the magnet I had, it was a little tippy because I had to cut the base of the pick off, so it's got a little bump. So I just tied it around there, and then I made myself a little loop to hang it from. Um, so then I can use this same tray. I have a couple other pieces in mind that will fit right in there. I did, um, I priscilla this one up with the ruffle, and I'd never done a ruffle. Um, I did two ruffles that day. This one came out a little better. I need some ruffle. Priscilla, I need a ruffle tutorial. because So I just kind of pinched it as I went along and hot glued it down. I had to double up the magnet to make it thick enough so it would stick in there. I didn't have to use two magnets. That's just what I had on hand. Um, so again, that's. I think it's perfect. I found this um, fabric at Joann's. The colors were right. So I'm really happy with that. And then the other piece that came out way better than I could have imagined. Um, this was actually a new start after my last video. So it's a start finish FFO. It's a new start FFO FFO. Um, this was most wonderful time of the year by Country Cottage Needleworks. 
So I found this metal piece um, at AC Moore, which I think is New Englandy. I don't know how far down they go. Um, it said fall, sweet fall on it, and it was also 70% off. Um, so I ruffled around the edge of that one. This is the one I did first. It's a little rougher on the back. Um, magneted it on there. And then my AC Moore had these little wooden pieces. So I slapped some magnets on him too. And when I was cleaning up, like all the scrap on the floor, I was like, I'm gonna put a little scarf on him. So he just sticks on there. Um, Fall, sweet fall. Now, a lot of people, I posted this on the Little House group and on my Facebook page, um, not my Facebook, my Instagram. Um, like I said, this was at AC Moore, which I think has is regional. I was on joannes.com, joann.com, looking for something else. And if you search the word galvanized, they have one the exact same size um, with like a witch on it. And I looked before I came down to make the video, and right now it's on clearance. It's five dollars um, plus shipping, and I think shipping right now is four ninety nine. So it'd be ten dollars if you bought one, but less than that if you bought two. Um, I ordered a couple more. <laughs> I ordered a couple more um, when I found them last week in case I want to do some as gifts. So this little guy had a a piece of like jute ribbon hanger I just cut it off so I'm really happy how this turned out and again I can use this little galvanized um, for other things down the line so there's that one I don't want the cats to eat it um, so that was the end of the FFOs I think yeah so the whips like I said I started that one and I finished that one and then the only other piece I worked on I was planning on working on the um, Bothy Threads Cut Through Haunted House, but I've been getting a lot of headaches um, and my eyes have been bothering me and that's on that darker fabric and it was a 16, it's a 16 count Ada, um, it's like a gray, but because it's a hand dyed, you know, they shrink a little, so it was probably like a 17 Ada, it was giving me headaches. So I put that one away and instead I was feeling Christmassy and I picked up um, Lizzie Kate, ABC Christmas. This was sold as a kit um, or floss pack, I guess. It had the chart and the flosses, which are all crescent colors, six crescent colors, and like a little squid of white and a pink flesh color. So I thought, well, I'll work on this one and see how far I get. No, I got pretty far. So that's what I have so far. Um, this one, I looked through what I had, and I had a piece of 16 count crystal, so it's the shiny one, um, Pansy. And I had a small piece, it was the 13 by, eight, uh, 13 by 18. I think I got this like two or three Christmas and July sales ago, um, and I hadn't used it yet. So all the colors looked great. The kicker for me with Christmas patterns is all that white. I need something dark enough that it will show up on, but I thought this one looked really well. Um, I did have to do some frogging on this, but not a ton. I'm a little nervous every time I pull it out because I am the world's worst speller. Terrible speller. So here I am doing all these words, and I know I'm following the chart, but there are times when I have to really look and say, did I spell that right? Yeah, that's right. Did I leave? No, that's right. So I'm trying to pay close attention. Um, so this one, I'm not quite half. I'm over a quarter, but not half. That's kind of my, my one whip for the rest of the month. So we'll see how far I get. And then um, November 1st, I'll have, I have a new start planned. Um, I'll have my Guardians of Notre Dame and the Frosted Pumpkin. Oh, and thank you. The Frosted Pumpkin, I, when I mentioned that piece I showed it last time, I mentioned the hole. There's a little hole where my scissors fell. Um, and a couple people suggested putting just a tiny piece of like super lightweight interfacing on the back and you can stitch right over it. 
So once I see the chart and see if there's stitching where the hole is, um, I think I'm going to try that and cover it up. It's, I think it's doable. It doesn't look too, too bad. Um, I've got a couple of gifts in the mail. One of them was I was one of the lucky ones that got a little Halloween card um, from Audrey, Stitchy Witch 42, and she had made, and I wrapped it up, she tried dyeing some floss. She thought it would be fun and tried dyeing some floss and it came out awesome. So she called it Witch's Brew. She whipped it up in her cauldron. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. The variegation is amazing. And it's like all my favorite colors. It's purples and grays and blues and light purples and periwinkles. Um, so that's really cool. If I had like a little um, mandala, this would be awesome. There's actually some Ink Circles Halloween mandalas that I have the charts for. They're in, um, they were in some of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issues, the ones that are on the CD that you can get. So I have them and that would be amazing, but I don't think, I think I'd run out. So I don't want to start it and then run out of floss but I will definitely use that for something special. And then I had done, um, I had done a swap with Misty Purcell, Luminous Fiber Arts. We had decided um, just for fun that we were going to do, we left it open, either Halloween or Christmas. So I ended up stitching her something Halloween and I thought she was stitching me something Christmas and then I got a package in the mail. So she surprised me, um, full of all kinds of goodness. So first up, her card, I framed it. It's so cute, I framed it. I gotta find a little frame for Audrey's. So it just says it's Halloween and it has these black cats and they're fuzzy. Um, so we put that in a frame and we have it up in the craft room. Um, so that was adorable. The back side, like the inside, is all cats. And I thought, I asked my son, I'm like, which side should we put out? And I thought that's what he was gonna say, but he wanted it to say it's Halloween. So we put that out. Um, this little creepy cat ornament that matches the needle minder she had gotten me when we met. Um, a gorgeous piece of her fabric. This one is called Stormfront. She sent me an 18, 18 count. So this one is like blues and purples and grays. Again, all my favorite colors. Audrey's floss would probably look awesome on this, although it might blend. Let's, let's see. Yeah, it wouldn't show up enough. Because they're kind of the same, right? It's like all the awesome colors. Um, so that's cool. I've dyed fabric. My fabric does not come out this good. First of all, hers isn't stiff. When I dye it, it's like you could use it to cut bricks. Um, her modeling is amazing, so thank you. And then she made me this little owl, which I know is a prairie schooler. I, I should have asked her which book it was from. Um, she has amazing fabrics, because I know she quilts, and she's quilted a long time, so she has a collection. Um, so this is adorable. And I put him, and I put my cat, um, in my electrocuted bowl, and I should put a picture in because I didn't bring it downstairs. I love that this is the first like season I had the bowl full. I didn't make anything in it. How cool is that? I have a piece from Audrey and Misty and Tifa, Express Life Tifa, and the chart I found at Goodwill, and you know, some little tchotchkes, and it looks amazing. It's on my ghost doily. <laughs> And I didn't do anything. All I did was sew backing on, on a piece I got at Goodwill. Um, and it has it like all my friends, all my friends, snugged up in a little bowl. And now that it's full, the cat stays out of it. So there's that. Uh, so thank you, Misty um, and Audrey. Though that was awesome. I, it's always fun to get a surprise in the mail. I have a few charts in my purchases. I think last video I mentioned one person, I think it was stash unload or unloading, one of them, and I had ordered some charts from her, and they came in, and then she posted more charts, and I was like, oh, 
Um, I've now put both of those on like the 30 day snooze. So I lay off with my purchases. So these were all from the same person. Um, I've been on a heart and hand Bent Creek and Trilogy kick lately. So she had um, Sweet Land of Liberty. This one is just the right size to go there in that tray um, for 4th of July. 37 by 148. Um, I don't know if it's... Yeah, it calls for variegated. It calls for Lancaster Red, which is not super variegated. So I'm, I'll just pick some of my Victoria Mottos and that'll be gorgeous and pretty mindless. If I go to a retreat, this is the one I should bring because it would be pretty hard to mess that up. Famous last words. Uh, she had this one that I got off one, two, three. This one I did. These next two I got off one, two, three because the previous time I ordered from her, she had summer lineup. And then the only one I was missing was winter lineup. So here it is. Um, these are small. These turn out to be about five by five. And I think I have a frame I need to measure. I might need to just do them on a little smaller count and they'll fit right in there. And I also picked up summer arches because again, this was the one season I didn't have. I've got a thought for finishing those two. All right, so then the stash unload, she had ABC's Christmas. This is a heart and hand. I, little Santa is so cute. And two little tiny ones, um, spooky. And I have some of those bat buttons. And this one I've been looking for because I have a little basket I showed in my last video that has the flowers in it and I did the little pumpkin in a patch. So this is little snowman in the drifts. Um, and he would be just the right size. Although look at all that white. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find fabric that you can see the white. I noticed, like I said last video, all of my Halloween stuff is on purple. And all of my Christmas stuff seems to be on blue. It's probably because that's what white will show up on. Um, giveaways. I had two giveaways last week. I pulled out two more for today. So last week I had two Shepherd's Bush. So I had the Thanksgiving give. And I just did random number, give, random number generator. I had 24 people in one and 25 in the other. Um, so this one went to Thanksgiving Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. So that will be hers. And then the Santa uh, went to Sharon Peterson. So I will comment on both of your comments so I can get your address and I'll get those out. Um, it'll be next week, I'm sure. So then for this week, I grabbed two two little ones so that I don't have to go to the post office to mail them. I can shove them in the box. This one is stone and thread. It's called snowed in. The snowman is a button. So it's really just a tree <laughs> with, a, with a star, it's a tree with a star. Um, so it doesn't look very difficult. So that's snowed in. Um, why don't you say the tree for this one? Say I'd like to stitch the tree because the other one is a snowman. Uh, this is a trilogy. This is Winston the snowman. He's very dapper. So I'd like to stitch the snowman for Winston um, will be for this one. My sister-in-law's dog is named Winston and they call him Sir Winston because he's, he's very dapper when he's not pulling toilet paper all over the house. <laughs> Um, trying to think. I don't think I have anything else. I have a lot to show because of all the finishing. Um, thanks for all the comments on my fall and my Halloween stuff that I showed in the last video. I'll have a few Thanksgiving things to kind of work in. I don't have very many. Um, two, might have two, might have one. <laughs> Uh, I'm still working on plans for next year. I kind of think it will be like seasonals and smalls. Um, I have quite a few charts like these, like these, that this kind of qualifies for both. So that's a bonus. Um, 
that I can finish all using the same piece. So that way it just, I don't have to set as much stuff out. I just kind of replace and refresh. So I have my, I have tingles from Lizzie Kate, all kitted up. I have Santa's Village from Country Cottage. Um, that one I have a frame I found at Goodwill and I'm actually going to be doing eight. There's 12 and I'll just be doing eight. Um, and I'll have to tweak them a little bit to make them fit. So that one I'll have to think about. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, and then I have the Bent Creek Rose. I have three or four of those. I think I have four of those ready to go um, with the fabric. The fabric I bought for those in April when I was in Florida. Um, so those are ready. And then, like I said, I'd like to do some smalls so that I can um, fill my bowl and keep that going. I also have the winter sneak peek ready to go. I don't know if I'll get that done in time for winter. Um, I have a few pieces I told myself I need to finish first. I need it. I have a dragon to finish. I have pretty little DC to finish. And then I have a couple other just smaller things that I'd like to get done. Um, I did order the Country Cottage I think it's Santa's list. It's the new one that's adorable and I'm going to put it for Christmas um, on this stand. I looked at Michael's when I was in and they didn't have any of these yet yet this year because I got this around Christmas time last year so I thought that might be when they came back out but they didn't have any yet. Um, and I've ordered a piece also. I ordered it's not on here. It's the companion to this one. It's um, ABC's of Snow. And I believe that one will be the right size to put in there for winter time. Um, that's it. I'll stop babbling. Um, trying to think of who I've been watching. The Hubs has been using the TV at night, so I've been watching on my phone and not commenting as much as I should be. Um, I watched Audrey yesterday, Stitchy Witch 42, with the most epic spider story. <laughs> so that was fun. I liked that. Um, Susie Reno, or should I say Mavis Oscarson? She was awesome. I'd hang out with Mavis and, and make some Renews It dolls. Um, that one is definitely, definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it already. Um, I need to be better about writing them down. I need to be better about writing them down. I'll try. So thank you guys. Uh, it will be November when you see me again. I'm sure this weekend we're kind of getting toward the end of the month and a lot of people who are back from retreat, this is when they'll have a chance to make a video. So we might be a little overwhelmed <laughs> this weekend, um, but they'll all be awesome. So have a great weekend. Bye.